completed my LLB from a state government university in Haryana in 2017. And after that, I started practicing in Delhi High Court with Mr. Rajiv Saxena. And now I'm handling independent cases as well. After my LLB, I did PG diploma in Indi uh, from IT Indian Law Institute in ITR. I always wanted to join civil litigation because that uh, most of the students see go for criminal or corporate. I wanted to go into mainstream civil litigation. So that's why when I heard of this course, I joined it immediately. I had just, just I have said that I come from state government university and I had all, you can say, inferiority complex regarding these NLU students and top players in the colleges. So that's why I wanted to be equally compete with them. I wanted to learn more and more. So I joined this because this course was based on practical aspects uh, as opposed to only theoretical knowledge that we get in colleges. From, I learned a lot like uh, from basics, how to draft the legal notice, then it's reply, plaint, reply, evidence, everything. So, uh, from starting from small things to even appeals, I have learned everything from this course. Obviously, I learned, I already had some uh, knowledge about that, but this course has uh, happened, sharpened my knowledge. Uh, in the course, there is a specific chapter for insolvency laws. Even there is an assignment also where we have to draft uh, demand notice for financial creditors, I remember. So that is, I found it very beneficial because I have started practicing in NCLT also. So that is a normal routine for me to draft and file section seven and section nine petition. In fact, I remember one thing that one of the assignments was to draft a demand notice for financial creditors. In law, there is no provision for demand notice by financial creditors. So most of the students in feedback session had drafted the uh, notice of operational creditor when the question was of financial creditor. So my assignment was correct to that. I remember that specific incident. to attend much of the live sessions although I watched recorded sessions I did attend some of the live sessions and I found it extremely good the evaluators were giving proper attention to everyone answering the questions of everybody who was there so it was good so our interested in pursuing civil litigation and young lawyers. Even experienced lawyers can do that because we tend to forget the basic things as we grow used to them. So this course is designed to only those people. Extremely good and that is why I, I I'm now pursuing the Diploma in Companies Act as well because I found one course beneficial so I am going for other courses also. Webinars which Law Seco conducts is good because we all, are, we all are stuck in lockdown. At least we are learning something. But I just want to say to those pursuing this course or those who are willing to pursue this course that complete all the assignments on time because I have not been able to complete all the assignments on time and at least now we are given opportunity by Law Seco to complete the pending course. So if those who are pursuing this course complete the assignments on time then this course is not as difficult as it seems. In fact it is an easy one. You can easily devote one to two hours a day and that will be sufficient.